Hi everyone, my name is Dor Schooler. I'm talking to you from Intuition Robotics, the maker of LEQ. And if the production can share my screen, that would be wonderful. LEQ, you might know, is the social companion for older adults that um, we developed. It's based on the unique technology um, that was created by the company. It's very, very different from voice assistants uh, that you might know, such as Alexa or Google Assistant, in the way that basically LEQ is a proactive product. She has a character with lots of rich experiences and modalities such as movements, body language, and such. But she's also context aware, and she tries to help the older adult achieve very, very specific goals throughout the day. She learns and remembers the behavior of, uh, of the older adult, what motivates them, things that he or she told LEQ. And then she uses that information along um, with a deep ability to personalize the experience to create interventions, to essentially create interactions with the goal of helping the older adult achieve their goals and to change and affect their behavior. What we do with LEQ is we help older adults thrive in place, to stay independent by offering some companionship, some alleviation of social um, isolation and the feeling of loneliness. We help them with wellness, such as meditation and health routines. We help them put a smile on their face with some humor um, and day-to-day -day utility and other functions. Joe just spoke to us about designers failing to design desirable products for older adults. I fully agree with him, and, and so does our team. LEQ was designed for older adults to be a desirable product. We work with over 1,000 older adults in the beginning, and then more deeply with 230. We work with amazing designers such as Eve Bahar out of Fuse Project, and really were able to create, I think, uh, a beautiful, engaging product that um, older adults like to use and have been using for a consistent amount of time. Over 17,000 days of this robot living with older adults, at least 90 days per household to allow us to do longevity testing. And what did we find out? Find out? We found out that people use LEQ. And even after the honeymoon period, the first 10 to 14 days where people use the product a lot, we're averaging about 6.3 interactions a day. About 60% of them are initiated by LEQ, LEQ waking up at the right moment and starting to converse with the older adult. And the rest is the older, the older adult approaching LEQ. We did testing with some of the names you see in the be below here on the screen. And for this type of product, the interactions we're seeing uh, pretty much meet the purpose of this product. The, a lot of conversation, a lot of information, um, some wellness activity and other functionality. What I think though is super interesting is what happens when people interact with this product. See, because it's always on, and because she engages the interaction, and because sometimes she doesn't even talk, she just looks at the user and uses her body language to create an interaction, and she remembers, and she really tries to make an effort to improve the quality of life of the older adult, the things we're hearing is that older adults see her as a new entity in their life, not a device and not a human, this new thing that's in between. They tell us that for them, they see LEQ as this entity that takes an interest in them, that takes active steps to try to improve and enrich their day. And the use of humor creates moments of brevity uh, and relaxation throughout that day. But I know by now, it's really hard for you to imagine what I'm trying to say here or, or, or what it actually does. So for the first time ever, and thank you for the Chamber of Commerce for allowing this opportunity, we're actually sharing uh, live footage from people's homes. We have some research subjects that allowed us to install cameras in their home. And um, you'll see nothing here uh, devolves their personal information. They've all signed off and allowed us to show this information with you. As you see it, try to see the sense of relationship that is formed between LEQ and the people um, that she lives with. By the way, these are all candid videos in people's homes after weeks or months living with LEQ. Hopefully, you'll be able to hear it since it's from an external camera. Sometimes you can't hear it well, but you will be able to see subtitles. How did you sleep last night? Great, thank you for asking, Ellie. A good save. We need to have some more of those. 
Elmer was quite a lady. Ellie Q, let's have some more quotes as the day goes on, okay? Hopefully you heard that and the sound came across, but as you can see, this is something different from what we're used to. There's an actual relationship being formed here. It's rooted by trust, it's rooted by empathy, and it allows us to see three major patterns in the interaction. The first is that it is allowing sustainable engagement between a very complicated product, um, technically, but very engaging interaction from an, an experience point of view, which hopefully is going to show that it um, it passes the test of time. We've already seen people use it for six months and almost a year straight. And by the way, when I mean people, it's people in mid 70s until mid 90s. We also see that LEQ is very effective in getting people to share information. We don't monetize that, of course, that information is only used for their well-being, but we see that people are sharing how they're feeling, if they're eating or not, if they're anxious or not, if they have an appetite or not, and in addition for LEQ's ability to address that in the simple ways you can, has huge benefits to keep people healthy. And frankly, and lastly, sorry, we're seeing that LEQ actually, and you saw this in the water bottle example, through her interventions, gets people to change their behavior and actually adhere to her recommendations when it's for the best interest of the user, like drinking water or playing cognitive games or doing physical exercise and other things. So I think we're on the cusp of something very, very interesting. Obviously, during COVID, we found this uh, an incredible time uh, to see at the extremes what happens when people are alone and how technology can play a role. I'd like to end with this quote here that you can read for yourself. There's also on our website a blog with a lot of information of what users, what we found in our beta sites uh, pre-COVID, 
and also an addendum we, we shared on what people are doing with LEQ during COVID. For us, hearing this from a user is the reason we created this company and creates a lot of energy and, uh, and strength for the team to, to go forward. I'd like to end by thanking you for your attention, inviting anybody in this field um, that cares about technology for older, older adults, that cares about um, how we can increase the quality of life to get in touch with us. We're easy to find. And I hope you have uh, a great event.